The dashboard is your friend once you are logged into USF Blogs. To access the dashboard of a blog, select the blog under My Sites and choose Dashboard. If you have multiple blogs like mine, as shown on the screen, always check on the top to make sure that you are in the correct dashboard as each blog has its own dashboard. To start blogging, you will create a new post. To do that, you can either click New from the top and choose Post, or from the dashboard, choose Post, Add New. First, give your post a title. In the editor, if you are only seeing one row of icons, click the toolbar Toggle icon to display the second row of advanced formatting features, such as Text Color, Paste as Text, horizontal line, undo redo, and clear formatting. To add content, you can start typing your post or you can import text from another document by copying and pasting as plain text. Occasionally with long post, you might want only an excerpt to be displayed on your blog and a link to the full story. Place your cursor where you would like to cut off your post and click the Insert More tag icon. This will create a Continue Reading link on your post. The Visual and Text tabs allow you to toggle between the Design view and the HTML view. Blog posts are displayed in reverse chronological order. You can post daily, weekly, or bi-weekly. Posts can be referenced in multiple categories and tags. After you have added content, you can save your post as a draft by clicking the Save Draft button and go back to fine-tune it later. Or simply click the Publish button to publish. You can set your post to be public, password protected, or private. You can also schedule the date and time of your post if you don't want it published immediately. For each of your blog posts, you can also add categories and tags. Categories sort your posts into topics, if your blog is about travel and food, you can click the Add New Category button and add those categories. Tags are specific words used in your blog. If you are writing a post on a French recipe, for instance, you can use tags such as French, Cuisine, Recipe. You can set as many tags as you like. Add your tags and then click the Add button. You can also add new categories and tags from your dashboard. Categorizing and tagging your posts help your reader quickly search for the article they want to read. If you do not see Categories and Tags section on your right column, Click to expand the Screen Options button on the top right corner of the screen. Check all items that you desire. Comments are an important part of blogging. Comments allow readers to engage in discussions, share their thoughts, and connect with you. Comments transform your blog from a static space to an interactive community. To enable comments, Check the checkbox next to Discussion in the Screen Options. Then check Allow Comments in the Discussion module. All your readers' comments will show up under the Comment section. Approve or disapprove them by hovering over each comment.